Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is our last video in this unit. Um, we did some work with estimating decimals all the way to the thousandths place in the last video. And today, if you haven't guessed, we're gonna figure out the exact answer with addition and subtracting all the way to the thousandths place. Um, this problem here, that this story problem, is we're gonna revisit this um, from, from time to time in this video. So we'll get to know it really well. But we're gonna use millions of dollars and so with millions of dollars, um, the one million dollars is kind of our whole. So one million dollars is a whole. And if we don't have a whole million, then it becomes a decimal. And this is something commonly we would see in the newspaper or numbers as such. But um, let's just get going here on this. So another number that is written as a decimal in millions is the money that a movie earns in Canada and the United States. The earnings are recorded in millions of U.S. dollars. So if a popular movie, you know, it's movie season right now. Um, in the summer here so you would see a lot of movies being reported how much it made on the weekend 5.26 million dollars or, or whatever so let's say a popular movie opened in theaters on friday august 13th 2004 that friday it earned four and 328 thousandths of a million in canadian and american theaters it earned three million and 19 thousandths of a million dollars the next day now we're gonna look at three strategies here for adding these two numbers. We're gonna use base 10 blocks. We're gonna add from left to right, and then we're gonna add from right to left using regrouping. So firstly, let's look at base 10 blocks. And so we're gonna model these two numbers, four and 328 thousandths and three and 19 thousandths. And so we're gonna add these up. Now, it's probably easiest to start on from the right. So I have eight in this top box, and to make a whole, I need to uh, borrow two of these guys. And in a sense, it becomes a hundredth here. And so all we need, really needed to do is count it up because everything adds pretty well. So four plus three is seven, three plus zero is three. And I don't know if you notice this decimal place here. Uh, one, sorry, three plus one is four, and then what is left over here is seven. So the answer here is seven, 347 thousandths of a million dollars. Um, so what we're looking for here is any place values that have more than 10 in the two columns combined. These two guys had clearly more than 10. Um, so what we did is we grouped um, the base 10 block, put a new hundredth in place, and we continued on to add it up. Now we're going to add from left to right. And in this method, we only look at one place value at a time. So we always start on the, the one. So four plus three would be the seven. In the next column, the tenths, three plus zero equals three tenths. Now, do you notice I put the place values all the way to the thousandths place because we have three digits. So don't be lazy, make sure you fill in those equivalent decimals um, in there. And then we're gonna deal with the hundredths, two hundredths plus one hundredths equals three hundredths. But again, I got that zero in there for the thousandths place. And then we lastly deal with the thousandths and we have 17 thousandths. If we add up all those again, a lot of zeros this method. So it's a little bit easier to see we get again, four and 347 thousandths of millions of dollars. Now it's probably a good idea to estimate like we did in the last um, video to check if our answer is reasonable. Well, we could write the three and 19 thousand as three. It's pretty close to three. And we can write, um, add that four and 328 thousandths like we did last time. And it'd be seven and 328 thousandths. We're really close to that. Um, so this would be a really reasonable answer. Um, the very tried and true traditional method would be going right to left and if we can regroup if necessary. It's probably a good idea to put your decimal place in right away so you don't forget about it. We have three decimal places so we're going to end with three decimal places. So we start from right to left and we're going to do the ones, you know, sorry, not the ones, I'm used to the whole numbers, the thousands column and that is eight plus nine is 17. Put the seven there, regroup the, the the hundredth there, so one plus two is three, plus one is four, three plus zero is three, and then four plus three is seven. So again, seven and 347 millions of dollars. All right, I'm gonna get you to try this one. So base 10 blocks, you might have to do some imagination or you could just draw it out. Um, so two and 14 hundredths plus three 
and 223 thousandths using base 10 blocks. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so I'm going to model this. I need two here and three here. Let's jam it in there. I have one tenth. I have two tenths here. And the hundredths, I have four. One, three, four, and two in the other one. Now, the top number, it has no thousandths, but the bottom one has three. So I'm going to bring three down. So we're going to add the, the columns here. So 0 plus 3 would be 3. Um, 4 plus 2 hundredths is 6. Uh, we have 3 between these two and 5 between these two. 5 and 363 thousandths. So we don't have to do any regrouping in that one, but uh, if we did, let's say, have maybe more here, we would make a 10 and bring it over to the tenths. Okay, you try another one here. So using right, left to right, uh, please add 6 and 294 thousandths plus 8 and 253 thousandths. Remember we're doing this left to right using one place value at a time. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so dealing with the ones columns, six plus eight is 14, but I again am going to do three decimal places. Um, in the tenths column, we have two plus two, which is four. In the hundredths column, nine plus five is 14. So that becomes like so. And then in the thousands column, we have seven thousandths. Now we're gonna add all these up. Um, it doesn't really matter what order I do it. Well, I guess we should go probably this direction now. Uh, 7, 4, 5, decimal, 14. So the answer here is 14 and 547 thousandths. And then using the right to left method, possibly with regrouping, please add 3 and 809 thousandths plus 7 and 191 thousandths. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so my numbers in here, line them up, probably should put a decimal there. 9 plus 1 is 10, regroup. 1 plus 0 plus 9 is 10 again, regroup. 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10, regroup. 1 plus 3 plus 7 is 11. So the answer is 11. Now in this situation you could put all this, but it really isn't necessary. We could just simply put 11 is our answer. Now back to our movie question. What is the difference between the Friday earnings and the Saturday earnings? And we're gonna look at three different methods. Sorry, it says two, three ways. Base 10 blocks again. We're gonna use a, something called a number line and think addition. And then we're gonna do regrouping. So base 10 blocks, I already put them in here for um, 328 thousandths. And we're gonna subtract three and 19 thousandths, remember. Now, I need to take away certain numbers. All right, so looking here, can I'm gonna go column by column, can I take away these numbers? So in the ones, can I have four ones? Can I take away the three here? Yes, there's enough. I can take away zero. I can take away one, but here's a problem. I have nine that I need to take away, but I only have eight. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be borrowing these guys and making um, 10 more one, or sorry, 10 more thousandths there. And now I can take these away. Now I needed to take away nine, so that would be all those guys that go away. And I am left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I try and take away the hundredths, do I have enough? Yeah, I can take this guy away and I'm left with zero here. And then here I'm only taking away zero, so that's a three. And here I'm taking away three of these four, and I'm left with one. So the answer here is one in 309 thousandths of millions of dollars, the difference between the Friday and the Saturday.
Now we can do something called a number line and think addition. And so we start with the lower number. Here's the lower number, what we're taking away. And we're going to add and try and get up to our original number, this guy. So it's probably easiest to go the big route, add one whole number. And you can see I go from here to here. Now I'm going to add, well, this guy here has three tenths. So if I add three tenths, I get to this point and then I got to think well, what's left over I just got to add nine um, thousandths and that will get me to the the you know the the number we were subtracting and all I have to do is add this up now this is an expanded form in a way so the answer is still the same as the previous one and so we get one in three hundred nine thousandths and so we could use again estimation to, to see if it's reasonable we could keep the original number but put this number at three and so one in 328 thousandths would be our estimate and our answer was one in 309 thousandths so it's pretty reasonable um, to get to that answer so in this method we're just counting back to from the, the lower num the number that's being subtracted to the number that is uh, we're subtracting from. And then lastly, the last method is re you know subtract using possible regroupings. So I just noticed that this should be an eight actually. So I'm gonna just put an eight. So, um, sorry for the typo. So eight minus nine, I can't do that. I need to borrow, this becomes a one. And so this becomes an 18. So 18 minus nine is nine. I'm going to put that decimal place in there. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So again, that's that same number. Um, we're, we're very used to this method. Um, if you even ignore the, the decimal, I mean, just pretend they're in thousands. Um, sorry, in thousands, then it's probably easy to imagine. We just got to put the decimal back. All right, so before we pat ourselves on the back here, we should check to see if our answer is correct. And so this is our answer we've been getting with subtracting and this is one of the two numbers so if we add these two together we should get the four and 328 thousandths let's check that i need to regroup two three and four and it indeed works out so that's a good way to check and see if your answers are correct right, i'm going to get you to try a few one for each method so we're going to find the difference between two and 143 thousandths minus one and 336 thousandths. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to plug in the, the, the first number here with base 10 blocks. And I have one and I have four of these. And then I need three thousandths. And then in the bottom here, I'm going to write down what I'm taking away. One, three, three, six. Now I need to look at these columns. Can these even work? I'm going to have a problem here. And I'm going to have a problem here. So let's just go from right to left here. I'm going to take this guy, bring it over and give him 10 more. So now I can take away six. But before I do that, maybe I should take away one of these guys, bring them over here. So I have five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so now I can do my my work here. I'm going to take away six. So three, there's six. What am I left over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm left with seven. I'm going to take away all three here. So we're left with zero. I'm going to take away three here, so that one plus two of his buddies are going to go away. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, they're left over, and I was left over. i got to take away one, so none are left there. So in the end, I'll have zero. So zero and 807 thousandths would be our answer using base 10 blocks. All right, so let's do the number line and think addition method. So remember, we're trying to get to this number, but we're starting at this number. So we're starting over here. Um, pause it, come back when you're ready. 
So if I do add one whole, that would get me two and three hundred eleven thousands, which is too high. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to have to add maybe some tenths. Um, to get to two and one tenth, I would have to add um, eight tenths. So I'm going to add eight tenths, and so that would be two and hundred eleven tenths. And then I need to get to seven hundredths, so I'm going to add seven hundredths, and so that becomes two and one eight one two hundred eighty one thousandths, and then all I have to do is add the five thousandths and sorry four thousandths, so two and one hundred eighty five. 285 thousandths. So is that the answer? No, we need to add this. So I am left with 874 thousandths. That is the answer when we subtract those two numbers. And then lastly, the right to left method using regrouping. Um, pause it, come back when you're ready. So to set this up, put all my numbers in. Again, I'm lining up all my decimals and my place values. Can I do 5 minus 7 starting from this direction? No, I cannot. So I am going to borrow from this 5. This becomes a 15 minus 7 is 8. 4 minus 9, I can't do that. I'm going to borrow from this guy. 14 minus 9 is 5. It's a 5, sorry. Um, 1 minus 2, I can't do that. So I'm going to borrow from this guy. 11 minus 2 is 9. 6 minus 2 is 4, so in the end, to rewrite that, 409, 4 and 958 thousandths is the answer. So in this video, we looked at finding different strategies to find the exact answers. When we were adding, we were using base 10 blocks, we were adding from left to right, and we were adding from right to left. And if we were subtracting, we, again, we were using base 10 blocks and um, regrouping if not, you know, trading in some some blocks to get uh, smaller blocks so we could take them away. We looked at the, the subtraction line where we the add and think addition method where we're counting back all the way up to the original number. And then we are also looking at uh, subtracting from right to left using regrouping. So a lot of strategies here, a lot going on, but hopefully one of, you know, one of each adding and subtracting strategies stuck with you. And so this is our last video in this unit. So I look forward to seeing you in our next unit. And so please remember in life, math happens. Take care.